And welcome folks, this is Bella Scuba with something a little different for you guys once again. Uh, let me tell you basically what's going on here. I'm going to be playing some Mist, basically as an introduction uh, to my new idea here. And I want you guys to give me some feedback on what you think of it. Basically the idea is that for the weekends from now on, I... Uh, I was planning, if it's okay with you guys, of course, that I would not upload any of the regular videos during uh, the weekend. No Fallout 3, no Xenogears, no Final Fantasy. Instead, I would be doing a short game like this, Myst. Uh, this is one of, I believe, four games I'll be doing in this video. Uh, so I'll be playing this for a few minutes, give you a feel for how it runs, and then let me know whether or not you want to see it, which one you want to see the most, and whether or not you think it's a good idea to be doing this at all, or if you just want me to stick to my schedule if you think I'm playing enough games as it is. Okay, let's see here. Um, I can't make out that number, that one right there, the topo topographical extrusion desk, but I can't make out... Uh, 67 for the water turbulent pool and 47 for the marker switch diagram. Now I assume that the water turbulent pool was what I was looking at already. So you want to hit that button there and that lifts this up. So you go down to 47, hit the red button, there we go. Go back over here. Now let's, now let's miss, this is a puzzle game and it's very calming set this button here. It's a very slow, kind of meticulous game. Nice. So that's what a marker switch looks like. That is important. Uh, you should have already seen one if you're paying close attention. If not, I'll show you a little bit when I get there. So, yeah, this is missed. Um, some people consider this the greatest game of all time. I wouldn't go that far. Okay, here's uh, here's one of those marker switches. You, you can hit this, but it, it doesn't do anything. It's not powered right now. Um, yeah, Mist, it just drops you in the middle of nowhere and so, and doesn't even tell you what you're supposed to do. You just you just go out and you do it. There's a piece of paper here. What does that say? Uh, Catherine. I'm not Catherine, but whatever. I've left you a message. I'm almost supposed to four chamber beside the dock. Please enter the number of marker switches on this island into the imager to retrieve your image. Now, we were just at the four chamber beside the dock and we've already seen two marker um, marker switches here. Here's a third one. And if we go over here, uh, there in the distance you can see number four by a giant nuke looking device. That's, that's awesome. Turn to the right. Go down here. We see a sunken ship in a fountain. Uh, we see marker number five. Marker number six over there in the corner. You can kind of see it. Down here, see marker number seven. If we go back, turn to the right. No, went too far. There we go. Marker number eight. That is all the ones on the island. So there are eight marker switches. Let's go all the way back to that dock, and we've already solved the first puzzle of the game. So that that's how Mist goes. Um, I don't want to go into the into the the library yet. There's a lot of stuff in there, and I just don't have time to cover that in this small little you know intro video. Basically, is what I'm doing here, just to give you guys a feel for the game, how it would run. Uh, there'd be no co-commentators for this one. I can. It's just no, just no. Be doing this one solo. And back in here down the stairs right, uh, there we go oh, I have to hit this button there we go now I do zero eight you have, yeah, you kinda have to center it right on the thing, you can't just hit the edge of the button sometimes okay and here, hit that button again, and what do we get? We get a cut. Catherine, my love, I have to leave quickly. Something terrible has happened. It's hard for me to believe. Most of my books have been destroyed. Catherine, it's one of our sons. What? 
I suspect Aganar, but I, I shouldn't leap to conclusions. I'll find him and Cirrus as well. Oh, I should have known better than to have left my library unchecked for so long. Well, I've removed the remaining undamaged books from the library and placed them in their places of protection. You shouldn't have to use the books until I return. But if you've forgotten the access keys, remember the tower rotation. Oh, and don't worry, Catherine. Everything will be fine. I'll see you shortly. Oh, wait. And erase this message after you viewed it, just to be safe. And there we go. First puzzle of the game. Down. That that's a little intro to Mist. If you guys want to see more of this, let me know in the comment section down below. I w it, once again, if you say you do want this to be shown, then it will be done on the weekends. Then it will be the only videos I upload on the weekends, so it will be a little bit slower uh, with a few uh, more games. Once again, these are going to be pretty short games. I believe the the speed run record for this is under a minute. If you know what you're doing, you can beat this game in under a minute. Uh, so I hope you guys did enjoy the small little part of Mist. I'll meet you in the next game. The second game I was looking to play on the weekends is Assassin's Creed. This is the first one. I'm in uh, Ocker right now. I they say it all weird. Um, found something you for how I would play this game, that since that's kind of a, a big deal in this one. Where am I going? It tells me to go that way. I, w I would not be doing... No yeah, whatever. I would not be doing all the... Ah, he spotted me. Whatever. What the hell? Never seen that before. Okay, let's see if we can make it anyways. Despite the fact that... Uh, we've been spotted. Um, I wouldn't be doing all the flags, that's just ridiculous. Um, I probably wouldn't even be doing the Templars. Um, I would be doing all the lookouts, all the missions. Ah, crap. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Yeah, probably not. Ugh. Oh, dude, don't hit me with a freaking stone. I'm pretty far along in the game, so I do have a lot of the power-ups, but doesn't really help if I'm being chased constantly because I took down a guy. Um, I would be doing all the the little quests, all the you know save the citizens, all the all the points uh, that you're supposed to look out from, and then ta-da! I'm hidden. Nobody can see me here. Nobody can see me. And do I have time? Oh, nine seconds. Five, four, come on, you can do it. Where'd he? Ah, fuck, I lost him. Oh well. Ah, oh, he was right there. It was him, just around the corner. So that's, yeah, that's Assassin's Creed. Um, I, I'd be showing all the cutscenes, probably all the time that I spend traveling. I want to kill this guy, because I didn't finish the quest on time. Ah, they spotted me again, whatever. Yeah, you're, I'm pretty far in the, in the game, you can tell, because there's a lot of people on the roofs here. But yes, this would be Assassin's Creed. Let me know if you guys want to see this one on the weekends instead of Fallout 3 and all the normal LPs that I'm doing right now. Uh, let me know if you want to see this more than Mist or the next game that I'll be going to right now. Alright, and the next game I was thinking of doing for everybody is Team Fortress 2. I know I'm really late getting to this game. But it seems like a lot of fun. I've had I did play the original Team Fortress semi-competitively. I was an engineer there. Here, I, as you can see, I am the soldier. What the hell is going on here? Uh, this is actually my first time playing, so I'm up against a few uh, computers here, a few bots. Damn it! Wasn't able to get chuckle nuts. Couldn't do it. Just couldn't take him out. Come on, let me out. So this is this is pretty much how the game would go. I would uh, try to do as much as I could, uh, show you guys some some good games. Uh, once again, just one or two, uh, probably just one a day. So two over the course of the weekend. Uh, so two a week of this thing. Um, I, like I said, I, I played as the engineer. Uh, with, uh, Team Fortress 1. Oh. 
Can somebody get him? Can somebody get him? Damn it! Oh, we got him! Sweet! Now it's just time to kill everybody I see. Die. Come on. Somebody give me something to shoot. Shoot me. Oh. Fine, so that, that would be the game, you know, just me playing randomly. Uh, I would finally get good at this game eventually over the course of the time. And then I would play online. And we'll see what, what class I'm actually good at there. Uh, I just did the soldier here because it's... I mean, it's a rocket launcher. Who doesn't know how to use a rocket launcher? So, um, I'll meet you guys in the last game. Let me know what you think about Team Fortress 2. Do you want to see this more than Myst? Do you want to see it more than uh, Assassin's Creed? Uh, so let me know, and I'll do what I can. And the fourth and final selection that we have here is Left 4 Dead. Uh, this is the first time I've actually loaded the game. I, I wanted to do it blind. I am apparently Francis in this little scene here. See if I can upgrade the graphics on this game a little bit. Doesn't look you know, like a shotgun. Nice. Yeah, my first aid. The subway can take us straight to Mercy Hospital. What else, what else we got here? It's been a long time since I played a first-person shooter. Yeah, my first aid. Um. Uh, oh, open the door. Hi. Yeah. Okay. Die. So yeah, uh, I've never played this game before. Um, it's it's a zombie game, you know. Oh shit! Damn, they can run. I did not think they'd be able to run. You guys gonna help me? Do I have to take on everybody? You know? Come on, man. Give me give me something here. You know this is on easy. You know what I mean? Damn, the shotgun's got some range. Uh, so yeah. I would definitely be, try to co-op this if I could. If I could find some people to do it with me, that'd be awesome. At least uh, co-commentary at the least. Yeah, you know what I mean? Whoa, Did, nice uh, shot. Who? There was... Who was Boomer? Because apparently Boomer died, and I did not see it. I did not see a Boomer. Look at that range on the shotgun. Do shotguns actually have that kind of range? That accuracy at that, that kind of distance? What the hell? That is a lot of fucking zombies out here. What the hell is going on? Yeah! Yeah, me too. Damn. Damn. <laughs> What the hell? Damn! Okay, uh, yeah, I mean, this is, this is, a. Uh, have we had enough of this? Damn. Nice protect. She killed Smoker. Oh, shit. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's Left for Dead. Should I, I don't want to spoil, my, spoil it too much, so I think I'm just going to stop it right here. Uh, we've already encountered a couple things that, you know, would be spoilers for me in the game. So, uh, that's it. Left for Dead. Should be awesome. Let's get some co-op on this. So, that's going to do it for... Oh, let me pause it. Um, so, that's going to do it for all your choices for this uh, weekend series poll, choice, whatever you want. Uh, let me know if you want to see any of these games. Uh, let me know if you like the idea of the weekend series at all, or if you just think I should stick to what I'm doing now. Uh, post below in the comments. PM me. Any way you want to get it to me is fine. Um, let me know what you guys want to see. Let me know when you want to see it, and which one you want to see the most, and uh, whatever gets the most votes, and uh, whatever, if, if you guys want to do this. We'll do it, and I'll do that game first. So once again, your choice is Myst, Assassin's Creed, Team Fortress 2, and Left 4 Dead. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little video. I hope you laughed. Um, probably not any learning going on, and I uh, hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.